Hi everyone, this is Mike Berry. I'm the Director of Curriculum and Technology for the Montpelier Roxbury Public Schools and the Principal of our Virtual Academy. I have a bunch of updates for today and a walk through them. Um, the first update on the blog is the search tool on the blog. At the top of our blog, there's a button that says search. And if you click on that and type in keywords, you can find all the posts about those keywords. It works really well. I do it myself to keep up with what we've said and what we're sharing. Um, so make sure that you check that out if you're looking for particular information. Um, next, the K-12 through MRPS Virtual Academy Parent Handbook. So we put together a, a handbook that has some of our structures and, and context and a few notes here and there about things, most of which you've already heard about through the blog or through the website. But it's all in one central place that will continue to update throughout the year. In addition, there's a link to the MRPS District Handbook. I would encourage families to review that. It has all of our policies and procedures and guidelines in there that are really important for families to know about. Um, I'll reshare that again at some point as well. We have our materials pickup this Friday, September 4th for grades K through eight. Um, that's going to be happening in the MHS parking lot from 1030 to 1230, probably in a similar spot to where we were for Chromebooks and then one to two in the RBS parking lot, and hopefully I get there on time. Just know that that's coming. What we have is we have kits of manipulatives and materials for the students in virtual learning K through eight to kind of kickstart the year. We have writer's journals, uh, rulers, uh, um, math manipulatives, graph paper, things like that, just to kind of start the year off right and make sure that folks have things that they need. Um, and we'll have some other information there from the schools to fill out and things like that. So we'll try and get it all organized. This is our first attempt at one of these weekly uh, materials pickups. So please bear with us. It's gonna be a new experience, but we hope it's a good one. Uh, VTVLC update. So we're getting those updates as they come. And as soon as I get updates, I share the updates, just so you know, we're not holding back on information. Um, I know it's been a little frustrating and we're trying our best to get that information out. So here's today's updates. One. Folks should know that VTVLC courses will not start until September 14th. Right now, you won't be able to see any courses in Maestro, so we're getting a lot of questions about why we can't see course information. VTVLC needs to approve all the course requests that we've submitted. Once those are approved, they'll start populating class lists, assigning them to teachers, and then we'll start to see, we will all start to see some movement in the system at that point. I am working on a, a bit of an orientation that they sent along that I'm gonna share probably the, via the blog for folks to look at that gives a little bit more information. Um, you do not need to enroll or select classes yourself. In fact, if you do that, it makes it difficult um, in another way. So please do not do that. We have enrolled in the classes. We're just waiting for that, that final approval from VTVLC. They also sent along a, a bit of an outline of what the synchronous sessions will be, which days. So on Monday, synchronous sessions will be for math. So on Monday, everyone in VTVLC would have math content synchronous that day. So there'd be a time to plug in and meet with the teacher. Tuesday would be ELA. Wednesdays would be electives for MHS students. Thursday is science and Friday is social studies. So on those days, you would have that content synchronous time. Um, and those are the updates for VTVLC right now. K through four specials had an awesome conversation with Christina Kane and Sam LaFleur, two amazing essential arts educators at UES. And that whole team at UES is putting together an exceptional um, system for accessing specials instruction. So our learning partners in K through four, those folks that have identified themselves as learning partners at the home, you're gonna have access to a lesson plan for music, for art, for PE, for technology. And you're gonna be able to uh, engage and plan those at home, which is pretty cool. Be able to figure out ways that you can do things. Um, this crew of educators, as is the same at Main Street Middle School, is just thinking outside the box and putting together a great system for us. So in the post, there's some details about that and which days for which specials. And then I reshared the Main Street special education that specials information as well, just so that you could have that again. Um, and that is my update for the today. I'm sorry for the lengthy one. There'll be another one tomorrow with more information. Keep coming back. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.